So today is the start of the 10 by 10 challenge. You guys might have seen this on Instagram where my friend Lee Vosberg started the 10 by 10 challenge. It's basically a way to challenge yourself to try to create as many outfits as you can with very few pieces. So in this case, it's 10 outfits for 10 days out of 10 different pieces. And those pieces can be outerwear, shoes, and then like tops, bottoms, dresses, but nothing that's like bras, underwear, accessories, none of that counts. So yeah, that's really how you do the 10 by 10 challenge. A lot of people are over on Instagram using hashtags and sharing their own outfits that they picked out and the pieces and explained why they actually are wearing them. So that's kind of what I wanted to do today. I think that this is a really great formula if you're gonna be traveling too, which this time of year in the next couple months, a lot of people are gonna be traveling. And you might only be able to bring like a small thing, like a carry-on with you. The formula that I'm using is one pair of water-resistant boots, one sweatshirt, one sweater, one shirt that I can layer with, a pair of linen pants, and then another pair of pants I'm gonna use corduroy, one dress, and then a dress shirt, and then a duster and a trench. So those are my 10 pieces. Of course, where I live currently, it's not completely cold and it's also not warm like LA. It's just right in the middle. It's great fall weather. So I actually came up with 13 different outfit ideas through this. I could have kept going, but these are the ones that I really like the most. So let's get started. The first outfit that I'm wearing I'm actually going to use the sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now, which is the cotton sweatshirt And I absolutely love this thing. I've got it in a couple different colors But today I wanted to use the black sweatshirt. It's actually very cropped and beautiful So I'm wearing some high-waisted corduroy pants. These ones are vintage Etsy pants I also am wearing my boots. These are the first time that you'll see them But I'm gonna wear them throughout the whole video. These are my Nisolo boots. They are the Chelsea's. They are water resistant They actually are made with rubber on the bottom. It'll allow me to wear my boots with any type of weather and everything that I wear. They're really versatile. Of course, I don't live where there's like heavy snow, so just keep that in mind too. <laughs> so for accessories with this, you can wear any sort of accessories. It does not count as one of the pieces, but I'm gonna wear a belt. This is my J. Crew belt. With that also, I'm going to be wearing my everyday jewelry, which I can link down in the description below, and I'll just link everything down in the description below where you guys can find it or something similar. The next outfit is basically the same exact outfit, only I'm swapping out the pants. So the pants are actually linen. They're really beautiful and I love the black on black look. It's very monochromatic. These are from Elizabeth Suzanne and they're a mid-weight linen, which is a really nice thick, thicker material too than just like having a lightweight linen. So yeah, I absolutely love to wear linen in every season. I just kind of change the weight of the fabric as it gets a little colder. Next, I'm going to swap out the top. Instead of the sweatshirt, I can wear this outfit with my dress shirt. Shirt. This dress shirt is from Cezanne. I've featured this time and time again. I absolutely love it. It's a polka dot shirt that is very much like silk and beautiful. It's more like an ivory color. I like that the polka dots aren't exact symmetrical. They are more free flowing, so it's really pretty. So of course, I can always throw on my trench with this, but I will save that for a little bit later in the video talking through that. But yeah, I just think that it's great to be able to have these rock solid foundation pieces and then build from there. So the two pairs of pants that I went with, like I was saying earlier, is my linen pants and my corduroys. And so it's been really nice to be able to just have those two to swap out the tops with. I would say that those are very versatile pieces in my closet. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just swapping out the pants again for the corduroys. For my fifth outfit, I absolutely love this dress. This dress is by Cotton. It's made out of Egyptian cotton. It's really beautifully made and the color just goes really well with the rest of my closet. They have different colors that you can choose from. And I love that it's a long sleeve dress so it just is a perfect thing to layer with. In this case with this outfit I'm going to be wearing my trench on top of it for definitely a monochromatic look. I also just love the way that the two pieces flow so well like in the wind it's really pretty and fun to wear and for the boots I'm going to continue to wear the same ones which are my Nisolo Chelsea boots and because they were so dark compared to the rest of the outfit I wanted to kind of repeat that color somewhere else so I'm wearing my black purse with it. So you can definitely swap out you know jewelry and purses all of that is fair game as far as the 10 by 10 challenge is concerned a little bit more about the trench it is really beautiful I love this thing so much it is from free people free people is a place where I've found a lot of great trenches 
time after time. Every time that I have to go buy a trench, that is one of the first places I look. I think that they do a really good job at making unique pieces that are really lightweight. So I've been loving this one a lot and I just love the fact that it's got these buttons that go all the way down it. You can dress up or dress down the trench and it just goes well with anything. When days feel a little bit chillier, I don't always reach for a dress because it seems a little bit too cold for the day. So one way that I like to make it a little bit cozier is to wear my sweatshirt on top. So it's the same cropped sweatshirt. I was careful on the two pieces that I chose for this type of look because I think that there's only a few that work well. I like that the sweatshirt is cropped so that it doesn't hug me too tightly in the middle with an outfit like this. And it also makes my proportions look a little bit more proportional. So it's really nice to be able to have this long flowing skirt look. It just makes me look a little bit taller. And then because the dress is lightweight and a little bit form-fitting, more like drapey, then it actually works really well with having the sweatshirt on top. If this dress was a little bit more billowy, it wouldn't be doing the same effect to how it looks on my body. I also wanted to add some tights with this. So these ones are a little bit sheer and something that is a darker look. I think that this is a really elegant way to dress for fall and it's fun to be able to wear with boots. I also love the way that the black is repeated both on my legs and on my top. I think that this look just comes together so much more with that. The next piece that I wanted to definitely include with all of this is something I could layer with as a top that wouldn't feel too warm if it actually got a little bit warmer out and something that I could just put on underneath a trench that would go with my pants. So in this case, I went with the Everlane scoop neck. It's like a Pima cotton fabric and it's really nice and comfortable and tight fitting. So it works well with my pants, which have a little bit more visual bulk to them. It's nice to be able to just kind of contradict those two things. So instead of loose on loose, I'm doing like tight fitting on loose. So in this case, I've got my corduroys again and then I've got my trench. So this whole outfit just really came together. I just was able to throw it on and I was really happy with how it looked. And then of course, I could just swap out the pants for the linen ones. And again, it's just a great look. I think that it's really cool too to see the difference in the two outfits with a lighter pair of pants versus a darker pair of pants. And I really like them both the same. Next for my duster, I wanted something that would go well with anything. And the Lewin Gray duster has been so incredibly comfortable to wear. I've worn it on car trips. I know it would go really great in an airplane because it's so cozy and it feels like a blanket and it's got pockets and I could go on and on. I've been so happy with Lou and Gray and I'm really excited to try more pieces from them. So this one I had to include with mine and I love the way that it looks with my dress. Again, I wore my dark tights with this and I'm really happy with the way that this outfit came together. The whole thing is so incredibly comfortable and flowy and I'm just in love. This next piece is the prime example of how a 10 by 10 challenge is finding your most versatile pieces and just putting them in this capsule wardrobe. So I had to include the one you can probably guess already because I've talked about it plenty before, but it is the Cezanne Berry Jumper. I chose to go with the ivory one for this look. There are actually three ways to wear it. One being as a v-neck, so it's all buttoned up in the front. And so in this case, I wanted to wear it with my corduroys. I think that the look is very put together because the buttons go all the way down and then these pants have a zipper and so the whole thing just works together perfectly. And then to break it up a little bit, I've still got my belt on. I just had to keep the belt on for all of these looks. Obviously you don't have to have a belt, but I liked that it added a little bit of the repetition of my gold jewelry in the buckle and then it just kind of breaks up everything too. And of course this also works really well because I've got black boots on, so the repetition of color there always helps. So another way to wear this is for having the berry jumper switched around and flipped so that the back is exposed and then it's just got the buttons that go down it. Of course because my pants are high-waisted, the buttons aren't the main feature here it's the back and I just love that the front has like this beautiful boat neck look which gives some proportion between the wider pants and this shirt so by the way I didn't show this on an outfit but you also could unbutton the top and have something underneath it too so it's just a third way of wearing the berry jumper is as a true cardigan that's not buttoned up so of course I could keep going and combining all of these pieces into different outfits, but just a couple more for you is using the Lewin Gray Duster and the Everlane Scoop Neck and then just 
trying them with each pair of pants. So all of this looks really put together and it just kind of flows together. I could keep going and adding pieces. I could definitely have done the trench instead of the duster, but I just love the way that this is a very like casual look, but still very put together, which I could say for every single outfit. <laughs> so hopefully this formula might help you on a trip that you're going on, or if you're really looking for some versatile pieces in your closet, all of these would be really great for that. As it goes for me for the 10 by 10 challenge, I have done it for about three times now and it's always really fun to try it with new seasons. I might go veer off the course though and start exploring other outfits by the end of it for sure. <laughs> so definitely check out my Instagram where you can always see more outfits of the day. I post those all the time. So it's really fun to be able to just be part of the 10 by 10 community and way to go Lee on this awesome project. It's so much fun.